Good morning guys and welcome back to the PhD vlog. So today I'm doing a special video about getting your thesis bound. This is something that I had a lot of questions about on Twitter after I did my daily June PhD vlog leading up to submission. A lot of people asked me where I got my thesis bound, how much it cost, what the process was. And because it was quite convoluted I thought I would make a special video about it. So. This is what my final thesis looks like. I got it printed at the Document Centre, which is a printing and binding service in London Bridge. I chose this place specifically because I had a friend who did his PhD a year ago and he used this place, so it came highly recommended. And it is also one of the kind of authorised thesis binding uh, vendors that my university recommends. So my university, and I'm sure every university, has a section on their website about submitting your PhD and there they list a number of approved vendors so I chose the one which was local to me and also I had a personal recommendation for it. I submitted it on Thursday to be printed and the good thing about the document centre is you can do everything online. So I sent it online as a PDF and I chose the two day binding option and that's two working days so that meant it was ready for collection on Monday. Sending it as a PDF is important because you don't want any of the formatting to get messed up. Uh, so I think there are various options with how you send it uh, but obviously I chose PDF particularly because I have Greek font in my thesis and if you have different fonts or, diff or tables and things like that, tables and diagrams, you definitely want to send it as a PDF because those are the things that can corrupt really easily and you don't want to pick your thesis up to submit it and find that it all of a sudden looks dreadful. Now unfortunately something that people don't really talk about is the cost of getting your thesis printed. So anyone who gets to PhD stage will understand that the cost of printing and binding your thesis or dissertation is something that the student absorbs. So it's something that I had to pay for at my undergraduate level, at my master's level and now at my PhD level. However, getting a PhD bound is substantially more expensive because of the, the page numbers and also the particular type of binding that you have to get done. So I haven't chosen to bind it like this for aesthetic reasons. This is university policy. So when you submit it for examination, you have to get two soft bound copies of your thesis in royal blue with gold lettering on the side and the pages glued in. And to get that done, you're looking at between 60 and 100 pounds depending on how quickly you want it processed and also how many pages you have. If your thesis is as long as mine, which is over 300 pages, then you're definitely going to be looking at the upper end of that scale. Uh, I chose the slow option, so I got two working days, um, which meant it was a little bit cheaper. If you're under time pressure or money's not an issue, you can't even get your thesis bound on the day. So the company that I used offers a service where you drop it off by 10.30 and you pick it up by 3.30. So there's definitely different options, but uh, it is quite expensive. So if you don't want to be spending kind of over 60 pounds, then definitely make sure you're organized and get it in there two days in advance. You do get the copies of your thesis back. Uh, this might not be the same everywhere, but certainly at UCL, you get the two copies that you submit for examination back after your viva. So if you're worried, oh, I'm spending all this money and then I don't get a copy for myself, you will get your thesis returned to you. Um, and obviously you'll have two copies, so you can give one to your parents or you can give it to your supervisor or whoever you want. The other question that I had was about corrections and what happens if you have corrections and you have to get it bound all over again. Well, unfortunately, even if you have no corrections, you have to get your thesis bound all over again. So the type of binding that you submit for examination is soft bound. It's not a, a particularly thick cover like a, a hardback book would be. Uh, when you submit your final copy of your thesis, it has to be hard bound. I expect that that means it's more expensive. You have to submit this hard bound copy regardless of the outcome of your viva. So if you have corrections, you submit the corrected hard bound copy. If you have no corrections, you submit the current thesis but in a hard bound form. And that's the copy of your thesis which gets held by the university and is put into the library. I hope this video has answered your questions about getting your theses bound. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. And also just a caveat, please don't take my words as gospel. Make sure you check the regulations at your own university. And even if you're at my university and you're watching this at a later date, things could have changed. So make sure you double check because you'd hate to outlay any money and then find out you have to go and do it again. Good luck finishing your thesis. And I'll look forward to seeing images of you guys holding your doctoral dissertations. Bye for now.